Hey everyone, it's Tracy. I am sharing a cute little craft with you today. Um, during my latest Dollar Tree haul, I picked up these paint brushes as well as that caulk, and I told you that I was going to paint them up and show you how I create them to make cute little Christmas ornaments. So let me show you how I did that. The handles have a shine on them and I want to take that off because I'm going to paint the handles. So I'm going to use my little hand sandpaper and I'm just going to sand that gloss off of these handles. Here's a craft tip for you. I use a cheesecloth or a tack cloth. It is a little tacky and I uh, run that over my wood pieces to get all of those little sanding particles, dust, those type of things off of my project before I paint it. Okay, my handles are dry and I'm going to use Delta Medium Flesh Paint for Santa's face. I'm using this all-purpose caulk for his beard and I'll put that on there using some just some sticks. For the face I will just take my paintbrush and I will just put a circle there right dab in the center of that part of the paintbrush and let that dry. I usually put two coats of the paint for the face. Working on Santa's beard, I used the all-purpose caulk and I got that in like the mechanic section of the Dollar Tree, but you can get it in, at Walmart and other places. Caulk does dry um, out, so work quickly, so I just do um, little dabs and work quickly with my little thing. I'm showing you here because I just grabbed some ribbon rolls and I cut it. Um, I'm going to use that for a holder to um, so that I can paint my Santa's beard all the way around so that it can dry uh, because it takes all day or like if I do it at night it takes overnight for it to completely dry. The caulk will dry out so make sure you keep your cap on your caulking and also don't put a whole lot if you're going to do it like I did on a little plate. Um, put little dabs as you need it because you'll kind of see I'm just using a stick here and you will see once you're you're kind of spreading it on I just kind of dab it on and spread it almost kind of like you're frosting a cake kind of thing and you will kind of tell when it's like okay I need to hurry up so just a little crafting tip for you Now don't forget about Santa's cute little eyebrows. I'm just taking some of that caulking with my stick and just giving him two little eyebrows. I will um, stand those up in those ribbon rolls so that my Santas can dry. Okay, my beards are completely dry and I'm going to make him a rustic or country Santa and I do that by just taking some brown paint. Uh, putting a little dab of that on my plate and then I water the paint down so it's really really thin and then I'm just going to take my paintbrush and just dab it and just kind of go all the way around the beard just kind of hitting the spots and taking a paper towel wiping off a lot of it because I don't want the beard to be brown but I want it to be distressed or get the you know hints of the brown so it makes him more of a rustic Santa. Okay, 
right here I'm going to show you the difference in the larger Santa that I distressed with the brown paint and um, the smaller one is the white one so you can just kind of see the difference. I just love the um, distressed look. I will go over the entire face with the brown paint as well, just doing some shading and highlighting Santa's features. For the eyes, I will most always use a black Sharpie marker and I just do draw two little ovals just right under the little eyebrows. So that's why it's good to put the eyebrows on first so then I kind of know where I want to put my um, eyes for the little character faces that I like to do. Also like to give all of my little faces just two little eyelashes on the very bottom of their eyes I just love that's just kind of my way to do faces and so I'm just using a thin paintbrush to do that For Santa's nose, I use the little knobs or the little plugs that they're little wood, wood turnings. You can buy them unfinished in the, at the craft store. And I just paint the little nose a coral color or a rose color. And depending on the size of my um, face will depend on the size of nose that I'm going to give my little Santa. The large Santa is using a 3 8 inch little knob and the small Santa is using a 1 4 inch knob. I also like to give all of my little faces some rosy red cheeks and I use a flat paintbrush and some coral paint by doing that. I like to do that before I put the wood nose on but for some reason I got ahead of myself and glued those noses on there. But it was not a big deal. I just took my flat paintbrush and just made some cheeks for the little Santas. Now to enhance the eyes a little bit more, I am just going to use a very, very thin paintbrush that I have and I'm just going to take my paintbrush with some white paint and just kind of enhance those eyes just a little bit so um, it just gives Santa just a little bit um, more character. to give my Santas a cute fluffy little beard and I use this yarn to do that. To create his beard I just make some loops with the yarn just wrapping it around my fingers. I usually use two fingers and wrap it around three to four times for the small paintbrush, four, to four or five for the large paintbrush. I will wrap it around and then I will cut a piece of the yarn and I will tie it in the center. And then once I have it tied in the center, I will use my scissors and then I will cut those loops. And then that is what gives it the fluffiness. Um, I'm using my Tim Holtz um, scissors, but I'm like, what is wrong with you? You need to use your cutter bees. And so on the second one, I am, um, you know, I've come to my senses and I'm using my cutter bees because you want a short little sharp scissor so you can get in between those loops and you can make those um, little fluffs and puffs. Now for the fun part we're going to just embellish our Santa and I'm just using some little miniature candy canes, some greenery, some berries, and some cute little jingle bells. <laughs>
going to make the ornament hanger. I'm using some jute that I did pick up from the Dollar Tree as well. And this homespun fabric. Homespun is fabric that you can see on both sides and it's perfect for country decorating such as these adorable little Santas. So um, I just have a little strip of homespun. I tear it because it gives a ragged edge and um, love that in my decorating. So I'm just cutting a piece of the homespun and I'm just going to uh, I put it through the little hole and just tied it one time and then I'm going to get my jute and I'm going to kind of tie it on top of that homespun so that it all kind of ties in together. So just slipping that jute through that hole, I'm going to um, thread my jingle bell on there. My intention was to put two jingle bells on the large one and one on the small one, but I had already had it tied and um, before I realized that oh, I was going to put two jingle bells on the big one and one on the small one, but it is what it is, so I didn't want to have to undo it. So, you know, it's your choice if you want to just do one jingle bell or two jingle bells, whatever you like. I hope that you like my country paintbrush Santa ornaments as much as I do. I appreciate you all so much. My YouTube channel has grown so much just in 2016. I am so appreciative to every single one of you. And I am doing a giveaway. I am giving away both of these Santa ornaments that I hand painted hand did for you in this video. I will be picking two separate winners. And to enter, what you have to do is you must be a subscriber to my Country Charm by Tracy channel here. And also leave me a comment here on this video, um, this Santa paintbrush ornament video, letting me know where you're from, what you're going to do for Christmas, or a favorite family tradition. I will be picking those random winners on Friday, December the 16th. I'll get your contact information um, so that I can mail it out to you so that you can get it and enjoy for Christmas. Thanks so much for watching. Connect with me on social media. There are all of my um, social media, how you can find me. Um, subscribe to my channel by clicking on my little picture here. There's another video if you'd like to watch that. And uh, I appreciate you all so much and God bless.